The measurement expert, Douglas Hubbard, reminds us, don't reinvent the wheel. It's been done before. Therefore, examining the work of others with respect to creating measurement strategies in whatever you're planning to do in your digital learning environments will be the first order of business as you develop your literature review. <clears throat> this isn't a new process. In EDLD 5305, you were asked to review the literature on educational technology and disruptive innovation to look for trends and patterns that would support your innovation project. Some of you have gone through or will go through an extensive literature review process in 5314 to learn from the successes and mistakes of others. In this course, you'll once again go to the literature to learn how others have measured similar or related scenarios and learn about the best ways to measure the impact of your innovation plan. We also want to remind you that you're not alone. Most real-world research projects involve many people, several people, or even groups. So we believe it's important for you to learn to work collaboratively uh, on your literature review. Many of you are working on similar projects like blended learning, one-to-one -one initiatives, iPad initiatives, e-portfolios, using media, video, digital tools, and as learning environment. So rather than work in isolation, we'll be giving you the opportunity to share your research workload with each other. We also recognize just how much work is involved in reviewing the literature. So we've combined weeks three and four to give you enough time to complete the review. We have also structured all the class discussions uh, in such a way to augment and support your literature review process. <clears throat>